John here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tool to remove your stuck wheel. I have a Toyota 4Runner. This may work on other wheels too. Depends on the holes you have in the wheel and how the wheel is configured with the lug nuts. But it works on this one. So first you need a piece of angle iron and a, a carriage bolt and a nut. A big washer and a socket which I'll show you in a minute what I use that for and some smaller washers that are the same diameter as the socket. So I'm going to put the carriage bolt through one of the holes and I found out that it's better to have a shorter end and a longer end here and then I take the washer put it on and put the nut on. I needed a carriage bolt of approximately three or four inches. I don't know how long this is. Now I'm going to use this socket as a means to protect my lug nuts because I don't want to damage this round part on the top here. So I have a, a socket that fits exactly around this part and goes up against the shoulder here. Now I'm going to use these washers just to protect this this part of my socket because it's not really designed to do what I'm doing with it. And then this tape I'm just going to use to hold this together so that I don't have to worry about it falling off. Now after I jack up the car I'll be back and I'll show you how I use this. I forgot to mention the most important part here. You need a pry bar like this, which you can get from Home Depot or any place like that. I think the longer the better. This one is 28 inches and uh, probably about that long works for me. I don't know, maybe you need a longer one if your wheel is really, really stuck. Now prior to doing this, I put WD-40, I guess you could use PB Blaster, and put it in between where the wheel mates with the inside. And I left that there for a couple of days. So that probably will help me. Okay, I'll be back after I jack up the car. Okay, the car is jacked up. So we only have about an inch between the tire and the ground. And always make sure you chock the car. I chock the front end back because I want to make sure the car doesn't move. So now I have all the lug nuts removed, so now you'll understand what I'm going to do with this socket. If you recall, the washers are taped on here. So this socket fits exactly over this part, so it's only making contact with the shoulder of the lug nuts. Okay. Now I'm going to tape this on, and this will be my fulcrum for my lever that I'm going to use to remove the wheel. It helps to tape everything together so you just don't have to hold it by hand. So now I find a nice area where I can access this hole right here and I'm going to put this on this lug nut about three or four turns right here. Now I'm going to take my angle iron and I'm going to take the short end and put it closer to the lug nut. Actually, I'm going to use this one because I want it on this side. And now I have my washer. Let me just show you why I have this washer here. I wanted to make sure that this would hook in and not come loose. So I used the washer to help me do that. Okay, I'm going to put this in here. Put this on here, and I lean this right on the lug nut. And sometimes you may have to do this. It helps to have three hands, and there it is. It comes right off. So that's how I removed my stuck wheels. Maybe they weren't as bad as some people, but it worked for me. Now, when I put this wheel back on, I'm going to put some anti-seize on here. So next time, maybe I won't have to do this. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope it works for you.